Mr. Chairman. Oh, that's all. Right. Don, Jeez, how are you? Wait a minute. Yeah. Who said you had to sit on a rock? <laughs> who does who designs this for crying out loud? Looks like a bad butcher shop for crying out loud. <laughs> Good evening, folks. Nice to see you all. Nice to see you. Now, big news. I was startled to learn this. You have a Twitter account. Tell me about this. Tell me, I want to hear about this. <laughs> well, my wife was lonely. She said, let's Twitter. Right. Anyway, uh, no, it's a new thing for me. I, had right. a, I understand you were on it, too. Yes, yes, and I, I, and I And I wrote some nice things. I said, watch Jay Leno, and, you know, if you're lonely, uh -huh. maybe you'll laugh. Well, how, but, how, uh, how, many, how many tweets have you personally sent out? Two. Two. Anyway, uh, no, I, I just started. It's all new to me. You right. know what I'm saying? Well, I got a lot on my mind. I don't like to sit in the house with a, with a pencil and a paper and go, eh, I'm going to write to Shirley Clum. I don't need that. Well, let's I, see I got a big career, and, your... and they're all out there in the dark. That's his actual Twitter page. His first one says, Oh, there it is. Hi, I'm Don Rickles, posting my first tweet. Join me on my trip to greatness. <laughs> yeah. And what is the second one? Oh, I'm on Jay Leno Thursday night. Don't worry, he'll be funny. Well, that certainly <laughs> turned out to be true. Now, Lady Gaga has 11 million followers. How many do you have now? Do you know? I just told you. What are you, done? What are you, how many? No, I have, I have uh, about uh, 30, I think. 30. 30. All right, that's the beginning. Is this a test when you hit a bell? Go to history. <laughs> the well, hell is this? I'm, I'm a guest. Don't, don't make me have a test, for crying out loud. Have you, tried, have you tried sexting? Have you done the sexting yet? Yeah, last night I gave her a shot. Really? Really? <laughs> She was in the hall, I was in the closet, and I blow a whistle, boom, and I missed her. Wow. Anyway, uh... What the hell is it with the sex thing? What is it with you? Well, you know, Anthony Weiner, he got in trouble with the sex thing. Yeah, you know but uh, he don't have a pencil anymore. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, a pencil in Jewish means he doesn't have the big hose. Right. Anyway, uh... Are you people sick? Now, I want to ask you, now, the Royals were in town last week. Did you see them? Did yeah, you... we had lunch. They were great. Yeah, really. Hello, Mommy. Hello, Daddy. Pass the butter. Mommy! <laughs> mommy, Daddy's home. Mommy! Would you... Hey, you, you talk about the Royals. Yeah. I went... This is the truth, gang. I look out at you. I know you're not there, but I look out at you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is great. If you, you know, if you... If you Ray Charles. <laughs> right. Anyway, Ray Charles was a black singer, rest of the soul, that went blind because he was working audiences like this. Right. Anyway, uh... <laughs> Is that what it was? I, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, I, uh, gee, I, I had never known the reason till now. <laughs> no, no need to shout. I'm right here. No, no. That's the only thing to keep his name alive. Go outside and, and kiss the sign again. For well, look, now, now, have, let me tell you about this. Go ahead. So, oh, thanks. <laughs> Gets $40 million for a show, and he says, go ahead, kid, do something. Anyway, uh, no, so I went to England yeah. with Bob Hope years ago. You remember him? Yeah. And I went, and we, uh, Princess Margaret was the guest. And I was sitting at the table, and, and all the big stars from England, every big star was there, blah, blah, blah. And I'm sitting uh, next to Newhart, you know. Yeah. He was lonely, so I sat next to him. Yeah. Anyway, so, uh, did you ever meet Bob Newhart? It's like being alone. Anyway, uh, he's a dear friend of mine, so don't worry about it. Anyway, so I'm sitting there, and a guy comes and says, uh, Sir, uh, you, you're going on now. And this is at the very end. Hope says, I'd like you to meet him. I want to tell you, I want you to meet a guy. But and he gave such an introduction, believe me, that I, uh, I was afraid to go on. He, he won't hurt you. He's just a lot of fun. And it was Princess Margaret, who was big then. She was, she was sitting at the table going, <laughs> and the booze was running down the gown. <laughs> and they said, go out and meet her. OK. So uh, I, I performed. And I did some funny stuff. The show's over. She said, I sit down at the table. And she said, uh, a guy comes over and says, uh, the man would like to meet you. I said, okay. And Bob Hope said, I'll go with you. No, no, just Mr. Rickles. And I go over and I sit down. She says, hello, you know, you're very quick, very quick. I didn't understand everything, but you're quick. I understand you're Jewish. And I went, oldie. Yeah. I'm going to be a Nazi. What is going on here? <laughs> and she didn't mean any harm. But the dossier said, I'm Jewish. She said, yes, I am. She said, you know, uh, I understand your mother. My mother's gone now. Your mother was A's 83 and she lives in Miami. I said, yes. She said, my mom is 83 and lives here. I said, they should talk about the Queen of England. I said, uh, yes, same, beautiful. And she said, you know, I understand your mom has emphysema. I said, yes, yeah, my mom has emphysema. <laughs> I said, this is, this is unbelievable, ma'am. I, I, I think it's great. She said, do you drink? Yes. She said, give me a double, 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 double. <laughs> and we were whacking it down pretty good. Yeah. And you could sit back, I'll, I'll talk go, to go. you. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> He's leaning over like it's his turn. Yeah. Anyway, uh, so, so, 
I know you're the host. You don't have to. Anyway, so anyway, so listen to this, Jacob. So now I turned around. And I said yes, and she says, you know, uh, I understand your mom has a condominium in Miami Beach. I said yes, she does. She said my mom has a condominium right down the street here, talking about the palace. <laughs> she has an apartment in the palace. I said yes. She said that is so alike. Palace, mom, both condominium, both 83, both living for zero. They're so alike. I said, man, with one difference. She said, what's that? Your mom has a flag on the roof. Anyway, uh, a flag on the roof. I'm leaning forward now. Yeah, you yeah, can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hate to work to mutes. I hate that. Look, look. We'll, we'll take a break. More with Don right after this. There's a flag on the roof. with America's oldest living World War I veteran, Don Rickles. Don, you better Howard. believe it. <laughs> Three years in the Philippines, <laughs> and now I got to smile at them in the restaurant so I get the right food. <laughs> no, I need the Japanese people are beautiful. Without them, my kids would have no toys. Right, no. Anyway, no. Uh, I want to ask you something. The Emmys came out today. You did a great sitcom, CPO Sharky. Did you ever get nominated for that? <laughs> no, they asked me to leave. Really? No, no. Oh. No, CPO Shockey was funny. It really, yeah, that it, it was a just, good show. It, it, at that time, you know, they, they voted no. I got over it and I shot the producer. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> I, I, I must say, it, what, what's amazing to me today, that there are so many new shows. Yeah. And guy pros like you think you weren't nominated. I, I got an Emmy, you know. The, yeah, you won like for, for, your, for, for you got the, two, didn't Mr. You? Yeah. Warmth, the Don right. Rickles project. That's right, right. And uh, it, it was great, you know. Mm -hmm. Nobody mentioned you. But the, the <laughs> thing is, that the thing is that a guy like yourself, Definitely should have been nominated. No, I, I and, and, uh, no and Jimmy Kimmel and, yeah. and, and David Letterman. Yeah. Well, we won in the past. That's fine. No, I, but you got every night you grind this out, and I say grind. It's not easy, especially with you kind of people. Uh, uh, <laughs> no, you're great. You're great. You, you say hello. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, but put yourself together, huh? Anyway, uh, there's one guy on the loose in the back. Get a rope. I want to. I'll tell you this. I want to ask you about reality shows. Do you watch any of those? Like Jersey Shore, have you seen that? No, the, the broad's too short. Yeah, okay. Anyway, uh, yeah. it's an inside joke. No, I don't watch that. I have a lot on my mind. Yeah. Kardashians, uh, you watch that one? Well, when I'm in heat. Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> you know, when you get to be my age, you know, nothing happens. Once in a while, you look down and the sparrow goes, hello. Right. But, uh, <laughs> you know, you'll get to be that age. You make fun of it, but someday, please yeah. God, you'll get to be that. I don't think you're going to make it. Right. But, right. uh, uh <laughs> When you get to be that age, you don't think of sex. You just sit there and you open up your bathroom and say to your wife, remember the old days? Right. <laughs> hey, I want to add you something. Wait, I'm, I'm not through yet. <laughs> Go ahead. Remember the, don't worry, I'll, I'll get out of this. Okay. Remember the old days? And, see, when we make love, when you get older, you, yeah. you, the, the initial pop is not the big thing. Yeah. You circle the bed, get an estimate if you're Jewish. You right. circle the bed, yeah. get an estimate, then at a running start, you go, bang! And she goes, is that about it? Yeah. <laughs> now, how long have you been married? An hour. An hour. No, no, no. I've been married 46 years. 46 years. There you are. Applause, applause. Applause, applause. Applause, applause. Now, where did you meet, Barbara? Wait a minute. You never saw her. Why are you applauding? You know. <laughs> no, she's a lovely lady. You yeah. know, on the wedding night, she said to me, let's try something different. Let's really do it. Anyway, no. uh... <laughs> I shouldn't make that. She don't like that. You know, you know my wife. She's, yeah. very, she's very low key, you know. Right, right. On, on the wedding night, she said, just don't get excited, blah, blah, blah. And I was, <laughs> I'm a loud guy, and she's very quiet, you mm -hmm. know. It's like sleeping with a Valium. Right. Anyway, uh, oh, I said a Valium, and a couple of guys here, a Valium? <laughs> what the hell's a Valium? Anyway, so go ahead. So how did you, where did you meet? Did At you a, bus, meet? a bus station. A bus station. Yeah, she was a hooker. Really? Anyway, yeah. uh, <laughs> ha, 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 it's easy for you to laugh, ha, ha, ha. I'm going to get home tonight and say, hello, sweetheart. I'm a hooker. Here's your hooker. Yeah. <laughs> hooker this about 20 minutes. Now, the grandkids. Yeah, yeah. She was a guy called Jack Gelardi. Uh, oh, I know Jack. Oh, good. Here's a cookie. Thank you very anyway, much. Anyway, uh, <laughs> I know Jack. And Jack Gelardi was the agent at that time. Yeah. And uh, uh, he, he was, uh, Rob Heller is my agent now, but right. they fight over it. Yeah. But uh, the thing is that Jack, uh, w she worked for Jack as a mm -hmm. secretary, and I went to see Jack, and I said, uh, I'd like to see Jack, uh, I'd like to see him. She said, what does it regard to? That's the way she talked, what does it regard to? I said, I'm a butcher, I have a truck outside with meat. She said, being a wife guy will not get you in to see Jack. 
And for some reason, that got me horny, and I married her. Wow. Anyway, uh... <laughs> and you have grandkids. Now, your grandkids are 71 and 68? Is that the great one? <laughs> Am I right? I don't want to get... I want to get... Got a pencil? You got a pencil? He has a pencil right here. Here you go. 71 is... Am I right? Post becomes a smart-ass. Okay. <laughs> Uh, 71 say no my son my uh, my my grandchildren are, oh, wait, wait, come one is nine and right. one is 12. right, right. and they're going to be bar mitzvah you know what a bar mitzvah is yes it's a jewish ranch right, right. anyway uh <laughs> i mean are they are they fans of your comedy do they understand what grandpa for does for the money they're going to get i am a giant wow <laughs> no they they understand they they, they watch you and, blah, blah, blah. and you know kids today are they're, they're really shocked you know yeah. they are are you, you adjusting your notes? No, I'm adjusting your notes because I'm, I'm, I'm. I'll just keep talking. I'm going to keep talking, talking there. And I'll give. And you're going to be at the Mohegan I'm Sun. I'm busting my burger here and he's going, good evening. He's going to be at the cat? Mohegan Sun August 6th. The man still has to go out and work for a living. Yes. And if he. <laughs> Arcata Theater. It's good to see you saved your money. He's out there kicking his ass. With all these one-nighters. Arcata Theater in St. Charles on the 20th. Don, thank you, my friend. Get to work. Go see Don on the road. Be right back with Bristol Palin right after this.